Hey, hey welcome first, to a nice little segment. We're going to review um, iPad comic apps. Technology. I'm Greg, and this I'm is Pete. Pete. In 3D O Vision. Yep, that's why we call him the HP. Hardcore Pete. Look at me. So, all right. So, thanks for that, Pete. So, yes. if you've been watching the podcast, you would have seen us do a nice little review. Um, we talked about the different comic apps for the Mac. I didn't I have talk about Ibers the PC because I don't have a PC. So, we talked about um, some comic apps, Longbox and things like that, which not that different between the PC right. and the computer. But with the release of Apple's iPad here, uh, displaying a gold key, the occult files of Dr. Spectre from the early 70s, long out of print. Um, so the with the iPad, that's been the big device that a lot of people are like, holy crap, what are comics going to look like on digital? And when you say a lot of people, you mean you? No, actually, if you were following... If you were following Twitter, a lot of comics professionals had a yeah. lot to say about it, and we're really wondering where it's at. And at the end of this segment, I'm going to show you a little image um, that, no pun intended, Jim Lee kicked up when he got his iPad. <laughs> he actually did a paint, a Joker painting. Image, because he works for yeah, you. Yeah, he you used, used to. Used to. In the yeah. So anyway. Push off. Um, so... We'll get to that at the end of the segment. So what what I started out here with is this is an app we've talked about before. This is Comic Zeal. I'm a big fan of Comic Zeal. Historically, you could do it on the iPhone. You loaded your CBRs or CBZs or PDFs um, into the application. It converted them, and then you could sync it over to your iPhone. Application hasn't changed at all for the iPad. Still just the same. You zoom out just like you would. Zoom in, so it's all kind of finger double pinching. Tap. Uh, double tapping on this right now, slow tap or quick tap brings up the controls for changing the pages, which you can also use the slider here if you want to jump forward or jump backward. Um, and on the iPhone, the iPhone didn't have the iPad has a lock, so you can lock it, so the screen doesn't change. As you change your device. Your mind is blown. Uh, the iPhone didn't have that, and so ComicZeal created their own screen lock button, and you press it, and it locks it for you. So when you, if you're reading them on the iPhone, and you're laying sideways in bed, but you don't want the comic to keep shifting, you could lock it. Which yeah, was, that's not fun. Which was a really nice feature that yeah. they put in, uh, so much so that now it's a hardware feature. But it works the same as it does on the iPhone. Uh, this is a pay app. On the okay. iPhone, I think it was four ninety nine. On the iPad, it's seven ninety nine. Um, but the difference right now, and it won't go to the iPhone one yet. Previously, it had to convert your files before you could load them on the phone. Now the iPad takes the file, the CBR straight away. Oh, so nice. you just drag them and drop them. So you have a higher resolution image. So you can really, really, really zoom in. Well, and as you can tell, it's still roughly the size of an actual. Exactly. Comic too. Yeah. So, so this is one of this is like I said, this is actually my favorite application. For uh, they have freed a lot of free domain stuff, stuff that's been around for a long time. If you've purchased comics electronically and you've gotten them in this format, um, we we sometimes are given previews in PDF format, and this is this is I can review it electronically. The closest I can get to the actual comic, if they want us to give them a full review versus reading it on the screen. Yeah. So this is the Comic Zeal app. Like I said, it's one I'm a big fan of. So right now. Um, DC does not, you're not hearing a lot about a DC on the Well, and that's the interesting device. thing is because when this launched, and you've had it about a week now, mm -hmm. by the time this airs, maybe two weeks yeah. now, a week and a half, doesn't matter. Everyone's talking about how great it is as a comic reader, and DC has no presence. No. Like, Marvel has a huge presence, and that's a whole other thing that people are unsure about. Of like, yeah, it's awesome to have all the Marvel stuff, but it's a little pricey for what you get versus what the na-na-na-na-na. Yeah. But... It's, I, I don't understand, and maybe you can enlighten me or have a theory as to why DC has no presence. I have no idea why DC doesn't have a presence right now, and I'm not sure what they're doing to rectify that. Um, I mean, so let's you give you... You Jim Lee. 
I, I, I don't know what they're doing and if they're smart, they're waiting to see what's gonna happen and waiting for maybe, you know, we've talked about long box signing people up, maybe they're sure. committing themselves. So here's what, well, let's talk about what Marvel okay. did. Here's what Marvel did. Um, Marvel's app is actually, there's a web, there was a comic app called Comixology. I'm gonna show you that here in a second. This is Comixology and uh, they have comics and by all kinds of different publishers. Comics, all Marvel, has comics. Marvel, uh, they have Moonstone, um, Hack and Slash, they have, they have all this different stuff. They have a bunch of free stuff. Chew number one is for free on here, uh, so you can Great read comic. that. Also currently available for a dollar. Yeah, yeah, so you can get it in for the, a dollar in, in your, your local flippies. shop. Yep. Your flippy, that's what I'm in calling your, the, uh, flippy. the flippy. Yeah, we'll see how that works for you. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you got your eye touchers. Right. Flippies. So Comixology, being the, the uh, a pre-existing app, Marvel actually worked with them. So Marvel's, Marvel's web app and Marvel's application for reading Marvel Comics digitally is actually just rebranded Comixology. So I can buy Marvel Comics in the Comixology app or... Or... I can pop into the Marvel Comics app and do the same thing, but only by Marvel Comics. Your mind is blown. Now, I don't know if there's exclusives on the Marvel Comics app that you can't find on Comixology. I imagine there probably are some things that are easier to find. Um, but a branded app, I don't really care about. Like, I don't need the Marvel app. I'm fine with Comixology if I want to read a Marvel comic. I'm sure there's going to be some limiting. I just don't know why. Is is everything available? Like, can you go back to the beginning no. of Marvel or the beginning of, like, how much are we talking about content-wise is available out there in comic world? So the other thing is, um, it depends on what publisher you're looking at. The other okay. thing is, is that Marvel has an online, you can subscribe for $60 a year online and read Marvel comics. Sure. However, you don't get to, you get to read whatever they have available for $60 a year, but you don't get to read it all their library because they don't have it all available. So that's the big problem. Digital, they don't have their whole digital library available and that's the biggest complaint people have about what Marvel's offering. Right. What they're offering is kind of a weird snapshot of stuff. So that's, a, that's another complaint about, you know, people want, if you're gonna charge me an annual subscription, I want everything. And right now, the annual subscription doesn't necessarily connect with the application here. So that's that. another thing. The other one is iVerse. Um, iVerse is phone. another app that Pete has on his phone. Um, and Archie Comics and IDW have mm -hmm. both presented their own apps on that website that are also just rebranded versions of the iVerse app. Yeah. So again, you go to the iVerse or you can get the specific one, you know, but again, I'm not really understanding why you would need it. So, um, but here we have an example, and they work pretty much the same. I don't even know same. what that means. This is the, this is Iverse. This is uh, us reading an Archie no, comic on Iverse. Jason you just know. made the joke, digital fish and chips, because of Iverse. Yeah. Like Iverse. Iverse. It took me That's a while. That's a CL. It took me a while, but it took me a while. Yeah. He had to tell me. I know. Yeah. I know. That was good. I don't know if you guys got to hear it, but there it is. The joke <laughs> explained. So we need to wrap um, this we're really long. I know. That's why I'm trying Sorry. to wrap it up. I'm gonna shut so up. So this is this is the Iverse app. Uh, so the wrap up is you've seen a bunch of the different apps. The one that you bring your own product to the store, so to speak, is Comic Zeal. The other ones you're buying their stuff. The prices aren't bad. There's a bunch of free stuff to try out. Um, still not sure where they're gonna go. I'm still looking for a comic book store online. Uh, and nobody has trades. Can you say that in a comic store? You're standing in yeah. a comic store. I, I enjoy comic stores, and I will shop in comic stores. But I've, Be they I virtual shop, or not. I shop at real stores, and I shop at Amazon. I'm going to do both. But I am also still looking for a digital online kind of one and all. The iBook store, we don't know if they're actually going to have trade paperbacks. Hopefully they will. We'll see how it turns out. So there you go. There's your first peek possibly at uh, comics apps on the iPad. Let us know what you think. You have any other questions? Let us know. You want to follow up in six months to see where things are at? You know where to check us out. Backroompodcast.com. Facebook, boop, 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 boop. Twitter. We're all over the web. Thanks.